At the University of Dubai, there's an air of anticipation. The school's at the center of a blockchain experiment which could radically change how all our information flows around the world. In the registrar's office, students are busy requesting official university-approved stamps on documents like transcripts and degrees. They require it to do things like transferring to other universities, securing jobs, and residency in other countries. The process is often complicated. It can take weeks to get documents stamped, attested, posted, and approved. It can also result in fraud. But blockchain touts its increased security with each student getting their own unique digital academic passport. The passport will contain your stamped and attested documents in a digital format. They're then placed on the blockchain, which uses math and cryptography, almost like a biometric fingerprint, to create a secure, open, decentralized database. The blockchain stores this information permanently across a seamless network of computers which talk to each other and verify the documents are authentic. One of the fundamental components of this is it puts power into the hands of the student. I don't have to constantly chase my university to request 10 documents for 10 job applications. I now have one digital document which I can share infinitely for a variety of opportunities. So once that's issued to me and I have this in my digital academic passport, I can choose how to share it, with whom to share it, and uh, use whatever medium I like. EduChain, which has launched this platform in Dubai, believes it will reduce costs, processing times, eradicate academic fraud, and offer students global mobility. So we developed the world's first... It's just one of the companies trying to get ahead in the development of this emerging economic platform. By 2021, Dubai wants 50% of all government transactions to be done via blockchain. We don't want to miss the curve. Similar, similar how internet moved everything, changed everything when uh, it started. So we want to ride that uh, wave and lead it even. It's all part of Dubai's efforts to be the first blockchain-powered city in the world. Samuel Burke, CNN, Dubai.